All right, so I got a list of comics here that I think are safe. What I do every week, usually Saturday or Sunday, is I'll release a video like this that kind of talks about, you know, what comics I think are safe to look at that you could probably pick up and not regret. <laughs> Uh, that don't have any agendas or anything coming at you. So I'm going through some safe ones here that I think, if you're interested in, could be good for you. The biggest one, Batman 57. Yes, a Tom King Batman is back. He seems to be doing an okay job again. Tom King, for the longest time, man, he's just been so hit or miss. But this is the KGB Beast storyline that's going on. Um, Batman's been going after him about because he shot Nightwing. This has been a pretty decent storyline so far. So, as such, I believe that this is worth looking at, especially if you have read the past two issues. I think this one will be pretty solid because this one ended up with him at the doorstep of where KGB Beast was hanging out. So, this one should be a fight between the two of them. And uh, Batman's pretty pissed about what happened to... Uh, Nightwing. So I think this is worth looking at. I think this is worth your time. Maybe. It's up to you. And we got Nightwing 51. This is a foil cover, which I think are very beautiful. Uh, so I didn't like Nightwing 50. <clears throat> I don't like the new direction of let's make Dick Grayson dark. But I do kind of want to see where they go with it. Um, I also think some people might have enjoyed it. In fact, some people in the comics did and told me so. So... I think um, I think it's worth looking at if you're interested. Yeah, I can't guarantee it's going to be good, but I don't think there's been any. There's been no agendas in there or uh, political crap. It's been a pretty straightforward comic. So, if another dark DC character interests you, <laughs> which is what this is, I think this is worth looking at. And we've got Teen Titans twenty three foil. Uh, Teen Titans, I've generally been enjoying still. Teen Titans has been solid for a long time. I think it's one of their better team books. Um, there's been a really interesting plot going on with Damien. And it turns out Red Hood is kind of involved. So it looks like Damien and Jason are working together. I think that's where the storyline is going. But so far, I've been enjoying all of the Teen Titan books. We had uh, some stuff happen with Roundhouse where he died but didn't die. And it looks like he's just been kind of hiding out at home. Something happened. It looks like they have to go after Commissioner Gordon. So I'm going to see what's uh, what's going to happen there. So I do recommend that one. We got Venom Annual Number 1. So this should probably be a one-shot. Written by Donny Cates. That's kind of the big thing. So he is still involved in it. So I'm sure it'll be good. Venom is one of the best comics out right now, to be honest. I... Uh, I think Venom is generally a really good comic book, and the art has been great in it. Get really high value art. Donny Cates has been a really telling a really good story. So this will probably be a five dollar book, but I think it'll be worth looking at. Then we have What If Ghost Rider. So I love the What If books. I've uh, been picking them all up. I plan on getting all of them. I think there's like three left. So there's this one. And uh, there's one uh, with magic. And I forget what the last one is. Maybe there's only two left. I'm not sure. But they've been really good so far. I've enjoyed all of them. Um, I don't really know a lot about this guy. I call him Ghost Driver because he doesn't ride. The, you don't ride a car. You drive it. You sit inside of it. For him to be a ghost rider to me, he needs to be on a motorcycle or horse or something. And uh, it just... I don't know. I'm still going to pick it up, though. I just, I don't know. A lot of, some people think Robbie Reyes is all right. I don't have a problem with Robbie Reyes. I just, I'm not a fan of cars. The big appeal to me with Ghost Rider was always him riding a motorcycle because I love bikes. So, uh, you know, it was just something that I always liked, especially as a kid. It was just one of the things that got me into motorcycles. Him and Nightwing, really. Nightwing's always been a motorcycle guy. Wolverine. Always a big motorcycle guy. Daredevil 609. Now, I haven't been reading this. I do plan on checking out The Death of Daredevil when that comes out. I think that's going to drop next month. I am interested in that, and I probably will be reviewing them. 
But Charles Soule is a pretty good writer, and he's writing this. So I think it's probably a safe bet to pick it up if you're looking for something good to read. I think you can't do worse with Daredevil. So that'd be worth checking out. And we got Star Wars Darth Vader 22, also by Charles Soule. Now, I haven't been reading this, but I've been watching reviews on it, and it looks really good. Um, I'm waiting for a good jumping on point. I might jump onto this. See, this is part four, so maybe on the next the next Darth Vader comic where it's a new arc, I think I might jump on because I've heard these are really good. Rorschach's been reviewing them, and he's been giving them uh, he's been giving them good points. So I don't know. Maybe this is worth checking out. Let me know if you've been reading it in the comments and give me some uh, give me like a rundown on how you feel about this Darth Vader book. Has it been good? Because I hear great things about the Darth Vader comic, for real. And then finally, we have Green Lantern's 57. Uh, I haven't personally liked the new storyline. I'm waiting for the reboot with uh, Grant Morrison, I think, is coming back to write it. I'm looking forward to that. <clears throat> uh, but I haven't. I didn't enjoy the Green Lantern's book I read. Dan Jurgens is writing it, though, and some people have been. I just get lost in Green Lantern lore. Uh, I get confused. I don't know who all these people are that are running around and who a lot of the Lantern villains are. And Sometimes writers can get really heavy into Green Lantern lore, and that just kills it for me. So that's my opinion on it, though. However, I think for what it is, it's a solid book. Maybe you'll be interested in it. I think Dan Jorgens is a good writer. So, like I said, if you're looking for a book that doesn't really have anything that you need to worry about, this is probably a safe bet. And that's really it. Uh, there's a lot coming out, but, you know, once again, it's not a lot that looks good. So, you know, those are my picks. If I could recommend stuff to you guys that I think are safe picks... Those are probably it. Once again, Batman 57, Nightwing 51, Teen Titans 23, Venom Manual 1, What If Ghost Rider, Daredevil 609, Star Wars Darth Vader number 22, and Green Lanterns number 57. I think those are all decent picks for you guys to look at. And that's pretty much it. I'll try and put these out on Saturday every week so that that way you guys can uh, have a couple of days to catch this. And watch it before you go to the comic book store. I think that's generally how I'm going to probably roll with these. So that's it. Uh, leave a comment. Especially if you read that Dar uh, Darth Vader book. Let me know uh, how you feel about that book. And uh, that's pretty much it. Throw a like up. Subscribe. Check out the links in the description. Got a link to my Patreon. Got a link to my Discord. My Twitch. All that good stuff. And... Uh, yeah, throw a like up, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.